Hello and welcome to another Excel Tips video. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video, I'm going to show you seven ways to switch between worksheets in Excel. Now you may already know a couple of these methods, but I'm sure you'll end up learning a couple new ones as well. So let's get started. Here I have a workbook that has five different worksheets. So I have the scanner, printer, laptop, projector, and routers worksheets. And within each worksheet, I have this data. Now I have changed the color of the header so that it will be easier for you to follow that I'm actually switching sheets. Now the easiest way to switch between two sheets is by using the keyboard shortcut control page up or page down. But this is only going to work for sheets that are close by. So see what happens when I hold the control key on my keyboard and as of now I'm in the scanner sheet and while holding the control key when I press the page down key it is going to take me to the next sheet which is to the right of the active sheet and if I hold the control key and then press the page up key then it is going to take me to the sheet which is on the left of the active sheet in this tab list. Now this method is going to work in case you want to switch between sheets that are close by. So if you have a workbook with 10 worksheets and you want to go from sheet number one to sheet number eight, then you would have to use this keyboard shortcut for a little longer or you'll have to press the page down or page up key multiple times. So if you hold the control key and you continue to hold the page down key, it is going to keep on navigating these worksheets and take you to the last one. See what happens when I hold the control key and press the page down key, it takes me to the last worksheet. And if I do the same, the I hold the control key and then use the page up key, it is going to take me to the first worksheet. Now this is all right, but this may become a bit inefficient when you have a lot of worksheets. So if you can somehow place the worksheets in between which you want to switch close by, then this could be a good way to do it. Let me show you a really smart way to switch between worksheets in Excel using watch window. So here, let's say I want to switch between the scanner sheet and the projector sheet here. So to do that, I'm first going to go to the scanner sheet, select cell A1. You can select any cell you want, but in this case, I'm going to go with A1 and you can only select a cell. You cannot select a range of cells. Now with this cell selected, I'm going to go to the formulas tab and here I'm going to click on watch window. And when I do that, it opens this watch window dialog box. Now here I can add a watch, which means that I can add a cell and this is going to give me the details of that cell. What the uh, What's the value in that cell? What's the name of the sheet? So here, see what happens when I click on add watch, it automatically picks up cell A1 in the scanner sheet because that is already selected. If you want to change this, you can, but make sure you only select a cell. Do not select a range of cells. And now when I click on add, it has added this watch here where the sheet name is scanner and the cell is A1. Now I can add another watch here. So what I'm going to do is add a watch for the projector sheet because this is where I want to switch to. So I'm going to click on add watch again. And here I'm going to go to the projector sheet and select cell A1. And now when I click on add, it has added another watch. Now this is where the magic happens. If you now want to switch between these two sheets, all you have to do is with the watch window open, you can double click on the projector watch and it is going to quickly take you to that cell in that sheet. And if I want to go back to the scanner sheet, I can double click here. So even if I have multiple sheets, even if I have, let's say 50 sheets in a workbook, but if I add these watches here, I can quickly switch between these two sheets. Now, a couple of things you need to know about watch window is in case you close this workbook and you open it again, this would still be configured. So you can still use watch window. You can go to the formulas tab, click on watch window, and this would open up so that you can continue to use this to switch between worksheets. The other thing is, if you want this watch window to always be visible, you can actually dock it in different places in your workbook. For example, let's say I want this to dock below the ribbon. I can simply drag it and bring it here and see what happens. It has docked the watch window right below this. And I can, if I want, I can minimize this. So I have a little more data visible. Now it is always visible. The watch window, I can quickly switch between these sheets. If you want, you can also dock this on the right. So I bring this back. And if I take this to the right here and put it here, you again have the watch window. So if you don't want to sacrifice on the rows that are visible on the screen, you can dock it on the right. If you want, you can also dock it below here. So if I bring this down, it also gets docked below here below these tab names. So this is how you can dock the watch window. And if you do not want this, you can close it, but it would still remain configured. So if you want to quickly switch between these two worksheets, all you have to do is double click. 
if you want to switch between multiple sheets, let's say you want also want this option to go to quickly go to laptop sheet, then you can also add it here. And if you want to go to specific cell, in this case, I have chosen cell A1 because I just wanted to switch between the worksheets. But if you want to go to any specific cell in the worksheet, then you can choose that cell as the watch. And then it is going to quickly take you to that specific cell. Another quick way to switch between worksheets, especially if you have a lot of worksheets in your workbook, is by going to this area, which is to the left of the, these tab names, and then click in between these two icons. And when I do that, when I right click, it is going to open the activate dialog box, which would have the names of all the worksheets. So now if you want to quickly go to, let's say, a router's worksheet, you can double click on this and it is going to take you there. Similarly, if you, you can come back here and you can go back to the pr printer sheet or the scanner sheet, whichever sheet you want to go to. As I mentioned, this is only useful in case you have a lot of worksheets. So it is it would be difficult for you to select those here. In this case, I can actually quickly switch using my mouse. But in case you have, let's say, 20, 30 or 50 worksheets in the same workbook, then you can use the activate window option. Another way you can use to quickly switch between worksheets is by using the name box. So this is the name box here, which is to the left of the formula bar and below the ribbon. Now in the name box, I can create named ranges. And when I have named ranges created, and these named ranges could be in different worksheets, I can quickly select those through the name box and then switch between the worksheets. So let me show you an example. In this case, let me name this cell A1 in the scanner sheet in the name box. So let's say I want to switch between scanner and uh, projector sheet. So I would first select cell A1 in the scanner sheet and name this cell. So I would name this scanner A1. Now, when you are creating name ranges, make sure there are no spaces in the name. And now with this created, I'm going to hit the enter key on my keyboard. And this name has been created for this cell. Now I'm going to go to the projector cell. Again, I'm going to select cell A1. You can select any cell you want. You can even select an entire range and name it. In this case, I'm going to go with cell A1 and I'm going to name this projector A1 and now hit enter so that this has also been created. Now see what happens when I click on this drop down icon in the name box, it is going to show me these two named ranges that I've created. So if I want to quickly go to the scanner sheet, I click on it and it takes me to cell A1 in scanner. And if I want to go to projector sheet, I can do the same thing by clicking on the projector A1 name. So this is again an easy way to quickly switch between worksheets. It also has one additional benefit as compared to the watch window method, which is that in, in this case, you can also go to a specific range, an entire range instead of one single cell. For example, if I want to go to this entire range, then I can name it something and then use it from the dropdown. For example, let, let's call this projector range and hit enter. And I go back to the scanner sheet and let me do the same thing. Let me select a range of cells here. And let's call this scanner range. Now I'll have four named ranges so I can select anything. If I select projector A1, it is going to take me to cell A1 here. But if I come back here and I select select scanner range, it takes me to this sheet, but it also selects this entire range. So in case you have a huge data set and you want to go to specific cells or specific columns, then you can create a named range for those specific ranges and then quickly switch between sheets using the name box. You can also use the go to dialog box to quickly switch between worksheets. Now, this is not the most efficient method, but I thought I'll still let you know how it works. So if I want to, let's say, switch between the scanner and the projector sheet, I can press the F5 key on my keyboard and it is going to open the go to dialog box. You can get the same thing if you go to the home tab and here in find and select, you click on go to. Now within go to, if you have some named ranges that are already created, then you would see these here. And if you want to quickly jump to those named ranges, you can double click on it. So you can double click on projector A1 and it is going to take you to projector A1, which is this sheet. And if I press the F5 key and then now click on scanner A1, it is going to bring me back to scanner A1. So if you already have named ranges created, then you can quickly jump between these worksheets using the go to dialog box. Another thing you can do is manually type the range where you want to go. For example, let's say I want to go to uh, cell A10 in the scanner sheet. So I would type scanner, then the exclamation mark and then A10. So this is the proper reference. And now when I click on OK, it is going to take me to the scanner 
810 reference. And similarly, if I want to go to, let's say, projector 810, I come here and I type projector 810 and then click OK. And it is going to take me to projector 810. Now, one important thing to know about uh, GoTo dialog box is that it has a, a temporary memory that would store the cells where you have manually gone. So I entered scanner A10 range here, so it remains in the memory here, and I entered projector A10, it would also remain in the memory. So for example, if I go here, so it took me to uh, scanner A10, and now if I press F5, then you can see it will show me the option to go to projector A10. So this temporary memory could be useful if you want to just move between uh, sheets or between cells in the same worksheet uh, on a temporary basis. If you uh, save this worksheet or you close it and open it again, then this is going to go away. This temporary memory is going to go away. You would only see the named ranges that have already been created. So as I said, this is not the most efficient method, but it is a good to know method in case you need it. Another great way to quickly switch between worksheets is by creating hyperlinks. So for, for example, let's say I'm on the scanner sheet and I want to quickly go to the projector sheet. So what I can do is create a hyperlink in this cell where as soon as I click on the content of this cell, it is going to take me to the projector sheet. And then I can have something similar in the projector sheet so that it takes me back to the scanner sheet. So in this case, I'm going to hold the control key and press the K key. So this is the keyboard shortcut to open the insert hyperlink dialog box. If you want to get the same thing uh, with the ribbon, you can go to the insert option here and then you click on link. And when you do that, it again opens the same insert hyperlink dialog box. Now in this dialog box, I'm going to select the place in this document option here on the left. And then it shows me all these sheet names. And it also shows me the, the names of these defined name ranges if you already have it. But in this case, because I want to quickly jump to these sheets, I'll show you the simpler method, which is to simply use the sheet name. So in this case, let's say I want to quickly jump to the projector sheet. So I'm going to select this here. And then it asks me to enter the cell reference in this sheet where I want to go to. I'm going to stick to cell A1, but if you want to go to some other cell or range of cells, then you can specify that here. And it shows me the text to display, which is going to be entered in this cell. So this is the text I'm going to see in this cell. Let's change this to go to projector sheet. And now when I click OK, this has entered this text, the text that I entered in the insert hyperlink dialog box in this cell and a link has been created. Now, if I click on this link, it instantly takes me to the projector sheet and I can also insert a link here. So again, hold the control key, press the K key. In this, click on place in this document, select the sheet here, which is scanner, select the range and then let's type go to scanner sheet. And now when I click OK, it inserts this text here. So now I can quickly move between these two sheets using this hyperlink. This can be really useful in case you are creating a dashboard and you have multiple sheets that have data and you have a summary sheet or a dashboard sheet so that you can quickly move between the data sheets and the dashboard sheet using hyperlink. So this is a great way to move between worksheets in Excel. And finally, let me show you a simple VBA code to switch between worksheets. So here I'm going to go to the developer tab and then click on visual basic. Now, if you do not see the developer tab here, right click on any of these ribbon options, click on customize the ribbon. And then here in the Excel options dialog box, make sure the developer tab is checked and then click OK. So this is going to appear. Now, when I click on visual basic, it opens the VBA editor in the back end where on the left you have this project explorer that shows you the names of all the sheets. Now here I'm going to insert a module. So I click on the insert option and then click on module. And here I'm going to have my code. So I've already copied the code. So I'm going to paste it here. And I will have this code in the description of this video so you can copy and use it. Now in this code, what I'm asking this code to do is I've used a simple if statement where I check whether the active sheet is scanner or not. So in this case, if I'm, let's say, using this code and I am in the, okay, yeah. So let's say I'm using this code and I'm in the scanner sheet. So it is going to check whether the sheet name is scanner or not. If it is, then it is going to take me to the projector sheet. And if it is not true, which means that I'm not in the scanner sheet, then it is going to take me to the scanner sheet. So this is only going to work uh, when I'm going to switch between scanner and projector. But in case this is something you need to do quite often, there are two worksheets and you need to switch between these two worksheets multiple times, then you can use this VBA code. Now see what happens when I run this code. So let me 
minimize the screen and let me run this code. So as of now, I am in the scanner sheet. Let me minimize further. So when I run this code, see what happens. It instantly takes me to the projector sheet. And now when I run it again, it takes me back to the scanner sheet. So this works like a toggle. Now, to be honest, this code as of now with all this uh, setup is not really worth it if you're using it through VB editor. But what you can actually do is you can add this VBA code in the quick access toolbar. So now you will have an icon here. And as soon as you click on that icon, it is going to take you to the other sheet. So you don't have to worry about anything else. You simply click on that icon and it works as a toggle. So to do that, I'm going to right click on any of these ribbons, click on customize the ribbon. And here I have the quick access toolbar option. And in quick access toolbar, I'm going to select macros from this dropdown. So it shows me all the macros in this workbook. So I already have the switch sheets macro that I just added to the module. I'm going to click on this and then add it in the quick access toolbar. And now when I click OK, you'll see this icon that appears in the quick access toolbar. And now when I click on it, it instantly takes me to the projector sheet and I can continue to click on it. And every time I click on it, it is going to switch between these worksheets. So this could actually be quite useful if you quickly want to switch between two uh, data sets in two different worksheets and you do not want to go into the hassle of using a keyboard shortcut or using the name box or everything with a single click you can quickly switch between these sheets so while the setup is a little cumbersome once you add it to the quick access toolbar this actually is quite a neat trick that's it in this video i hope you found this useful also if you're liking these videos please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new excel tips video i come up with thank you and have a nice day